Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Playmates Toys Ninja Turtles Raphael. Coming to us from the new Michael Bay uh, produced Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Michael Bay is not directing, he's just a producer. Um, this comes to us from the folks over at Playmates Toys. Warning, choking hazard, small parts not for children under three years of age. Uh, Raphael, as with every other version of Raphael, does come with a pair of size. Um, I, I love the design. First of all, Spot loves the design of all the turtles. And I know some people don't really like the nostril thing going on with the turtles. Um, like if you look, for example, at Donatello, Donatello has the nostrils that Michelangelo does, but Michelangelo's nostrils or nose area is very, very different than Donatello. And uh, I like that each of the turtles are very distinct from one another. I mean, Raphael definitely has a presence to him. He's big, he's massive. And uh, I think even in the trailer where he's like, I'm going to go get my brothers back or I'm going to go with my brothers, something along those lines. He definitely has a very scary look to him. Um, Raphael could probably be one of my favorite turtles in the movie, though I also really dig the design of Donatello. On the back of the package, your read-up says they were born in shadow, they live in shadow, and they fight in shadow. New York City crime rates are on the rise, and innocent civilian tremble in fear. But there's a force fighting back, vigilantes among us ready to protect the city. Are they the heroes we expect them to be? And are they powerful enough to take down the masked warrior everyone fears, the Shredder? Dun, dun, dun. For more Turtles toys, down below, we have the four Turtles, Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, and then, respectively, the additional characters are Splinter, April O'Neil, the Shredder, and a Foot Soldier. If you are interested in checking out more, you can head over to www.playmatestoys.com. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, Raph. There's more Henny Way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. No turtle would be complete without his weapons. In this case, Raphael comes with a pair of size. Just cast it in a singular silver color. I think, I believe as well, it's slightly a different color than Leonardo's uh, katana blades. Now, it's actually one of the few Raphael toys that doesn't have a section on the back to house his size. Um, nor is there a section really in the front. There appears to be no area where you can have him holding his size, at least when he's not holding them in hand. Um, that's more or less not necessarily to Playmates for designing it like that, because probably in the movie, there's maybe no section where Raphael holds his size. But of course, as with Leonardo, you can take the size, put the size into Raph's hands, bada bing, bada boom, you've got yourself a place to house the size. And likely that's how I'm going to have them displayed anyways, is going to be with the weapons in hand. Um, and also just actually for, for comparison, I'll do these actually with a couple of the, uh, the Turtles toys as we're going through them. But there is Raphael and there's Michelangelo, the, or Leonardo I should say, that we've already had a look at. Size-wise, Raphael is definitely a lot bulkier than uh, than Leonardo. It also appears, too, if I straighten out the legs, it also appears, too, that he could be a little bit taller. You see that? He could be a little bit taller than, than Leonardo, which I think from footage that we've seen so far in the movie, Raphael se seems to tower over the other turtles. I mean, he is clearly the muscle of the team. And uh, of the characters, I definitely would not be wanting to run into Raphael on a bad day. Also, actually, you know what, too, for that matter, let's bring Leonardo back in. Hey, Leo. Uh, Leonardo also is uh, colored, or really all the Turtles toys are colored in kind of the consistent coloring that they seem to do with a lot of their Turtles toys. So Leonardo is always seems to be like this lime kind of color. Raphael is more of a darker green. And again, that carries over, too, with the Turtles movie toys as well. 
Um, I, I, you know what? I might even say so far, even though we've already technically only had a look at two figures, but Raphael could be my favorite of the movie turtle figures. Um, he also, that again, has a real presence in the movie, but I like the look of him in the turtle toy. Again, really muscular, really massive in size. Um, having a look at his face, the bandanas that the turtles wear seem to all vary from one another too. So instead of it being an open headband, that uh, a mask that Raphael sports, it looks like he sports more of a, uh, not like a do-rag, but more like a, a full bandana treatment covering the top of his head. I like that. And again, I really like that all the turtles are so different designed from one another. Um, there's still a, a level of consistency to that. It looks like they, they all kind of take things, items and articles of clothing that they can find in the sewer, and they, they basically make that into their outfits. So Raph's got the very similar brown uh, that Leonardo had in kind of this these rags and stuff like that that he's wrapped around his waist. Um, he's also got areas that are covering over his, his calves, and he's got bandages wrapped around his feet. Uh, in the way of Raphael's articulation, we'll just take the size out of his hand here for a second. In the way of Raph's articulation, he shares the same articulation as Leonardo, so he has a bowl joint in the head. The one thing, too, that you'll see, if I bring in... Hey, Leo, how's it going? You'll see also, too, with uh, Leonardo, his head sticks further ahead than his, his shell. Uh, he's still kind of... All the turtles, really, for that matter, have a, have a hunch kind of to them they're, where they're, they're really broad in the shoulder area. But, like, you can see where... Raph's is slightly different. His his shell is much larger, and it goes right to the back of his head. Um, definitely gives him a, a more commanding presence, but it also means in the figure, it's slightly a little more limited. You can still rotate his head left and right, but movement up and down is a little more limited. He has hinge and socket ball, ball socket joints in the shoulders, so you can rotate the arms all the way around. You can also rotate the arms out. Furthermore, you can also hinge the arm and rotate it independently. And he has no swivel in the arm, in the wrist. But again, because you're rotating it in the forearm, at least with that swivel, you can you can adjust for the fact that he has no ro ro uh, wrist articulation. As for his legs, there seems to be a little more movement into his legs than what Leonardo had, even though Raphael has the extra. Uh, fabric, the extra cloth material going around his waist, it seems not to limit moving the legs out. The legs move forward and back, and he also has a hinge in the knee, which allows you to also rotate the lower leg. Uh, also would have been really neat to see these guys come with display bases or like sewer covers, very similar to the Turtles classic toys. That would have been a nice added touch as well. Getting his size back in hand. The Turtles toys are now hitting stores, so I definitely would say if you're interested in the movie property figures, definitely would check out your local stores and see if you guys can pick these up. So far, dig in the Turtles toys. Um, and, and again, bringing in, hey Leo, bring in Leo. You can see how different that each one of them are from one another, not only in the movie, but also in the toys. Uh, I think Playmates did a great job on these figures. Definitely excited to have a look at the other ones as well. Raphael, I'm going to give you a 7.5, sir. Today's toy spot, we're having a look at the Playmates Toys, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, movie figures. We're having a look today at Raphael. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have the reviews of the other Turtles toys heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.